name is Ishan Ayer. I'm a fifth grade student from California, from Purdue Elementary. And today I want to talk to you about a device I created called Tactile Electronic Braille Display Device 2.0. This device is designed to assist individuals who are visually impaired. Did you know there are currently 285 million people in the world who are visually impaired and 39 million of them estimated to be blind? Moreover, 1.3 million children are born blind every year. Children with severe vision impairment can experience delayed motor, language, emotional, social, and cognitive development, which can have lifelong consequences. Even school-aged children with vision impairment can experience lower levels of educational achievement. Braille is one of the most important reading methods for the blind. Unfortunately, fewer than 10% of usually impaired individuals are Braille readers, with the primary reason being the difficult nature of Braille and the hard work needed to convert the regular text to Braille. To build a tactile electronic Braille display device 2.0, I used an Arduino Uno board and solenoids, the programming language C transistor called a TIP 102 NPN transistor, and a breadboard. First, the circuit is built to connect the solenoids to the appropriate ports on the Arduino. Next, the program written in C converts each letter into electronic signals, which are created inside each port. Each electric signal will turn the electromagnet in the solenoid up and down according to the Braille alphabet symbol. This pattern is created by the program based on the input we give. P, E, R, D, E, W, E, L, E, M, E again. N T R Y. So right now, my device only works with uncontracted Braille. In the future, I am planning on making it do contracted Braille. Solenoids are big right now, and another problem with that is they use a lot of electricity. So I want to use uh, less power so I can like make it have a battery and make it last longer. Um, I also want to make it more compact. Uh, right now, it, can, it only can display one Braille cell. I want to make it so it can display five, at, at least five Braille, Braille cells at a time. And lastly, I want to make the device read emails and text messages and uh, online magazines.